the lessons that are being delivered by this kind of hatred in this community. There's a common story from many low-income people in Anita Place and who have been homeless and low-income in this community a long time about being attacked in the street, have, having bottles thrown at them, sandwiches, eggs, buckets of water in the winter, and, off, and more often than not, it's young children who are carrying out these assaults because they hear the messages of hate at the dinner table and they internalize it and they act it out. There's one young woman I know who, lives, who lived in the camp for two years who said that she was sitting in front of the Walmart and, uh, and a young girl, a 10-year-old girl started flicking um, Slurpee at her out of one of those uh, spoon straws and calling her a dirty junkie. The messages of hatred and division are, are finding deep root in this community. It's not unique to Maple Ridge, but I think we can see the ideas that hold together Canadian society, the hateful ideas that are the undercurrents, the long legacies of land theft and the genocide against indigenous peoples are the origins of ideas of hatred, of divided versions of humanity that are coming out visible in this community. When we stand against it here, we're standing against the roots. Not just what's visible, but against these logic, these poisonous logics and these different values for different human lives. Now, the Vancouver Area Network of Drug Users knows these narratives for a long time. They found it in order to stop the genocide of drug users in the downtown east side, to fight against the government's extermination program against drug users, against low-income drug users. I want to welcome Dan.